Hey everyone, it's Lauren and today is officially one year since I finished chemo. Today I am finally sitting down to film my one year hair growth update video. I am so excited. I hope you guys are too. I'm going to be sharing with you all the whole process, the products I've been loving, and everything else. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So if you're new here, my name is Lauren. I'm 19 years old and when I was 18, I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I actually had primary mediastinal large B-cell lymphoma, which is a rare kind of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I went through six rounds of the dose-adjusted EPOC-R chemotherapy regimen. I finished chemo on December 16th, 2019, and it's about to be one year post-chemo on Wednesday. I actually got my final PET scan results, like cancer-free, on February 6th, 2020. So there's just a bunch of days. Dates, you have to remember diagnosis date, day you finish chemo, day you renounce your remission, all of that stuff. I first wanted to give you a quick overview of what my hair looks like now, even though I included the little slideshow at the beginning of the video. So this is true one year post chemo hair growth. I have not gotten any haircuts this year at all. I need to get one soon, even though I'm literally like so scared to get one. I don't know why. I'll give you guys a quick overview of what my hair looks like. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have documented my hair growth process from the very beginning. I have a hair growth highlight video. My Instagram is at Life with Lauren May. I've enjoyed documenting my hair growth process and I love talking back and forth with different people about our hair growth. It's super fun, so you should follow me on there. And if you have any questions or need any advice, you can DM me. My DMs are always open. So let's recap from the very beginning of when I first lost my hair. I lost my hair or started to lose my hair two weeks after my first round of chemo. The hair loss started with me just noticing a little extra hair coming off my hairbrush when I would brush it. It then turned into chunks falling out when I would brush it and chunks falling out when I would wash my hair. It got really bad and I started noticing it shedding all over my pillows when I would wake up in the morning and all over my clothes throughout the day. So it just started getting so out of control. My head was super itchy and it was just very uncomfortable and I was like cancer's already taken and it's going to take so much away from me I'm not about to let it take my hair away from me too I'm gonna take control and I'm gonna shave it and that's exactly what I did throughout the whole entire treatment process I kind of just had to accept things like there's nothing I can do about what's gonna happen so I'm just gonna accept what's going on around me and I'm gonna fight and I'm gonna do it with the best attitude I can possibly have so that's exactly what I did being bald and even after being bald and having my hair grow back it definitely affected my self-confidence a lot you know I would see people on social media with this long beautiful hair and I would get so jealous and kind of insecure because I wished my hair was that long again and I just missed my long hair and I still miss my long hair even though it is getting longer so the whole process of losing and also growing back your hair is a very difficult one it can be frustrating honestly I've kind of enjoyed watching my hair grow as well just because it's fun to to style it at every length and see what I look like at every length like I would never be bold enough to cut my hair super short and see what I look like so having it grow back has given me the opportunity to see what it looks like short and I've just embraced every length that's been at and it's been it's been fun so so now I want to move on to talking about the products I've been using and loving for the past year. I will say that I have a hair care playlist and I just did a hair care routine video where I go more in depth on how I use all these products. I'm just going to be going over them in this video. So if you want to go check out all of my hair related or hair care related videos, go check out that playlist. I will have it in the card right above. On that playlist, you will find my hair loss experience, how I style my head scarves, I think, two videos on how I style my pixie cut or when I had a pixie cut, and my six months 
month post chemo hair growth update and my recent hair care routine. I'm going to quickly go over all of the products I use, starting with my shampoo and conditioner. So I love using the Biotin and Collagen Thick and Full Shampoo and Conditioner by OGX. I have recently gotten out of the habit of washing my hair every night. I used to be really bad about it, but I realized that doing that is stripping the natural oils away from it, and that is going to help your hair stay thick and full and grow in stronger. And so I've just gotten out of that habit and now I wash my hair every other night or every two nights. So when I do wash my hair, I love using these products. They smell amazing and I really think they've helped my hair out a lot. The next product I love to use is my Moroccan oil. I use one pump at night after I get out of the shower and then again in the morning when I'm fixing my hair. So I love this stuff. Again, it smells amazing. All of my hair products smell good and I've been using this for years. And y'all know that I love these Shea Moisture products. So for styling my chemo curls, I love to use the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. And then I also love using the curl enhancing smoothie. Both of these products are amazing. I will have all of the things I just mentioned in the description box below if you're interested, but these are products that I've stuck to for the past six months to a year. Another thing I love using is my microfiber towel. I use this at night when I get out of the shower. It just helps it dry really quick. And then I also use it in the morning when I'm styling my curls after I have the products in and my hair is still wet. I just go through and scrunch it so the curls are a little bit more enhanced. I just do that all around. But I love using this. I'm pretty sure Ulta has some, maybe even Target, and maybe even Amazon has some. I'll link a few in the description box if you're interested. So I've only been taking one supplement for my hair, and that is the Collagen Powder by Vital Proteins. This has 12 grams of collagen per serving. It's good for skin, hair, nails, and joint support. My mom and I both use this, and we actually have like the monthly subscription where they send you like one or two per month, and that works for us. And you can put this in your coffee in the morning, you can put it in your smoothie, literally any drink. It doesn't have any flavor, at least I can't taste it in my drinks. And it actually comes with this little scoop like that, and that's the serving size that you put in your drink, like that's all you need. And so that's super convenient that it actually comes with a little scoop. Collagen also helps with nail strength, and I noticed a huge difference after starting to use this in my nails. After chemo, my nails were super brittle, and they were basically like falling off because of one of the chemos I received. And so I really wanted to help their strength come back, and using this stuff helped so much. So that is all I wanted to talk about for my one year hair growth update. It has been a process. Some days I wake up and I absolutely hate the way my hair looks and I don't do it. Some days I wake up and I have a really good hair day. It's just a whole process and it can be very frustrating. But in the long run, I'm just so grateful to be healthy again. I am so happy to watch my hair grow back and just embrace all of the lengths, even if it's awkward. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my hair growth update for one year. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're a cancer survivor, let me know how many months you're out of treatment. And also make sure you subscribe. I post new videos every single Monday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!